Hefe first salute dropping banger after banger after banger. So if you ain't subscribed, stop. Subscribe me, Kitty. We dropping bangers, man. We dropping bangers. So stop. Subscribe. Drop them likes. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. So we need to get them videos out there. But fuck all the bullshit promotion, bro. Let's jump right into it, dog. Let's jump right into it. This past UFC was motherfucking banger, bro. The first, the first two fights finishing a knockout, and then the last two fight, all the, the last three fights, all went to gym and was all bang fast, bro. Like every fight was just a not bang fast, but it was just nasty shit, bro. It was nasty. So I want to start off with the main event was amazing, and I really want to touch on that. But I have to start Tony Ferguson versus Charles Oliveira, bruh. Man, my nigga Tony, bro. Looks like he's lost it, bruh. Looks like he's done. Looks like he's past his prime. You saw this with Tyron Woodley a little bit. When you start losing a long time in the octagon, so think that's right. Tony did not win a single minute in that fight. And did not win a single minute in that Justin Gaethje fight. That Justin Gaethje fight, if I'm pretty sure, got ended at like closing on the fourth round. So let's just say for good measures, 20 minutes in the Gaethje fight. 15 minutes in this. That means in Tony Ferguson's last 35 minutes in the octagon, the man has not won a single minute of those 35 minutes. That's facts. I don't give a fuck how you want to look at it. He has not won in 35 minutes. One round. One minute. You could argue maybe not even ten seconds. It's sad to see. Because everybody wanted that Tony fight. Habib even said. If Tony was to win. They maybe would think about doing the Habib fight. That fight will never happen. Tony will never be undisputed UFC champion he's going to be dropped off the rankings not to take anything away from Charles Oliveira because he looked amazing tonight Charles Oliveira was nothing short of sensational and he's a buzzsaw right now and people got to you know you're going to have to really you know it's going to take a lot to get Oliveira out of here man it's going to take a lot to get Oliveira out of here right now it's just so sad man to see Tony just like he looks old. He's switching up his coaches. And like, it's like what? Like the UFC career. And now he's switching up his coaches. This just sucks to see Tony that way. El Kukui, the man we once knew that is no longer because he takes a hit, he shells up. He's not as fast in the scrambles. Tony used to be a lot linkier. He looks like he put on a lot of muscle, looks a lot slower. He probably should end his career at 170 or at least give 170 a shot maybe once or twice before he retires. But the Tony we knew and loved is gone, and it's it just sucks, you know what I mean? And I want to give Charles Oliveira props because Charles Oliveira dominated him in every realm you could dominate him. Skiing. So, bro, Tony's arm in that first round, how, how his arm, how he didn't tap is crazy, bro. His arm was fucked. Like, bro, was so wrenched back. Bro, you're just waiting for the bone to pop out. You're just waiting for it, you know what I mean? Just suck to take a toady go that way, bro. And Charles Oliveira looked fantastic. He definitely, you know, leaped himself into a either a title fight or the winner of the winner of and not, or the winner of um Well, I don't know, man, cuz you got Justin and Michael Chandler are going to fight on the same day as McGregor. They're going to be, I'm pretty sure, like the co-main or something like that. So you got Connor and Dustin, Justin and Michael. So you could argue whoever is the most. If Connor wins impressively, they're going to be shooting for a Charles Oliveira fight. You would think. You would never think fucking Connor would fight Charles Oliveira. Charles would, you know. That would, that would be a fight that two years ago, if you said that could be a possibility, I would have never believed it. And then you got um, 
whoever wins out of the Michael and Justin fight, if Justin wins, you could argue in a title fight. I think if Michael Chandler wins, he should fight the loser of Connor and, and Dustin. Um, and, you know, how I see it all going is Charles is in title contention. Dana White's already said that. So the winner of this is Charles has won nine in a row. He deserves a title fight, right? Connor winning the Dustin fight. So it'd be Connor and Oliveira. And then you have the loser, Dustin, either fight Michael Chandler if if uh, Michael Chandler wins. And if Justin wins, maybe they could do Dustin too. They could do that rematch, actually. But I could see maybe if Justin wins, him being close to a McGregor fight. Or, I don't know. If Justin wins, it kind of messes it all up. I don't really know. But it was just crazy, bro. I felt bad for Tony, bro. It's just you can tell it's it's just one of those fighters where you just you're watching him and you're like you know this is it you know this is it so it just sucks you know I love Tony Ferguson bro he he will cement himself in the UFC but it's already cemented there's no more cement being laid down I don't think he I don't think he rises uh you know back to the division which sucks props to Oliveira props to Tony Ferguson that was a hell of a fight. Let's move on to the to uh, the main event. 